Hi, my name is Kelly Hood and I'm a cybersecurity engineer with Optic Cyber Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about cybersecurity metrics and measurement. Uh, last month I put out a video on the difference between metrics and performance indicators, so if you want a little bit more information on that, be sure to go check it out. Today we're going to take that conversation a step farther, start thinking about how to put this information into context, and talk a little bit more about the difference between the capability metrics and strategic program measures as we're comparing the different types of things that organizations will measure, we want to make sure we understand what, what we're measuring and, and what to do with that information. So there's a lot of things that can be measured, obviously, within a cybersecurity program or a company in general. We can look at things about, you know, assets and, you know, how many assets do we have cataloged? We can look at vulnerability information. How many have we identified uh, this week, this year? How many um, vulnerabilities have we patched and, you know, managed? Um, we can look at spam. We can look at training. There's all kinds of things we can look at, all the way down to incident response time and downtime. But but what does that mean? Um, especially when we're thinking about the specific metrics, it's very easy to take this information out of context. When we're looking at things like a, a count or a percentage or a time, and we say something was five minutes, something was, you know, we had 10 devices, we had 37%, you know, what, what does that mean? Is that good? Is that bad? So it's really stepping back and we need to put that information into context. And that's where those strategic program scales come in handy when often things like maturity um, and, and measurement scales like that that are really helpful to, to help us figure out what are we measuring this against and is this good, bad, or indifferent? We've seen probably a lot of these standards here. These are probably not new. Um, everything from you know NIST Cybersecurity Framework to 853 to the CMMC standard, uh, C2M2. We've got ISACA Cyber Maturity. Um, all kinds of different standards that are out there defining cybersecurity outcomes and requirements um, that help us to set that that goal of what are we trying to achieve, and that often that our measures or our metrics are trying to help us to figure out how how we're doing. Um, but still figuring out what that endpoint is up to us because these standards will say things like, you know, assets are inventoried, you know, at a very high level. And we have to figure out, is that mean that I have accounted for all 10 assets that I have? Or if I have a hundred or a thousand or a million assets, you know, that becomes much harder with the larger numbers. So then I might want to use a, a percentage based and say, well, I've got 97% of my assets accounted for. Um, but anyway, as we take that information and are trying to figure that out, we need to put that into context. And I wanted to talk a little bit about these different options. So we can see here um, that a lot of these different uh, frameworks and standards have different terminology they use for, for measurement. So we can see words like baseline and maturity and tiers and implementation groups and types um, where they're all really doing, you know, working towards the goal of measurement, but doing it in slightly different ways. Um, some of them, like the baselines and the implementation groups, are giving you a set of controls that say if you want to be a, you know, a group one or a low baseline, you're going to need to do these uh, you know, X number of controls or put these in place. Whereas things like maturity levels are going to be more about the level of sophistication to understand if you're a level one maturity, maybe you're going to have ad hoc processes, you're going to be making it up as you go. But as you move up in the scale up to the, the top level, whatever that may be, you're going to be looking at having more optimized processes, more consistency, more repeatability. And that's also the way that the implementation tiers largely work as you're building up to more consistent, repeatable processes and looking around. So all in all, it's really important to have both points of view, really. We're going to need that specific information on the metrics about the number of vulnerabilities, the number of assets, you know, our response time to know how we're doing. But we also need to put that into context and then we can communicate it at a strategic, from a strategic point of view, using some of those scales that we talked about. Now, I know that there's a lot of different options out there and a lot of different scales, and we only talked about a few today, but I'd love to hear more about what you guys are interested in and if there's any frameworks or standards you'd like for us to talk through a little bit more. I've got a few resources on this slide here for some of the scales that we talked about and a few more that was on the slides, but definitely let me know if you want to dig into a little bit more to one of these scales. Um, I'd appreciate the feedback and I hope you found this helpful as you're looking at how to take those specific metrics and apply them in a strategic way for your cybersecurity program. So I look forward to hearing from you all. Again, thank you. Uh, my name is Kelly Hood and I'll look forward to hearing from you.